angel of God, the Lord of God asked me to tell you that all your problems are over in Jesus' name. I hope they're all fine. Hmm? So, we married you for my son. Just come and welcome me and ask about the people in the village. Hmm? You should be ashamed of yourself. Huh? It should be my grandchildren who should be welcoming me. And not you. Not you at all! Mama, I only welcomed you. This is not fair. Ten years in a marriage without a child. Not even a sign. To show that the situation will change. And you expect fairness from me? My dear, you must be very stupid. Mama, it's God that gives children. Then your God has deserted you. Huh? And the son, whatever you have given to my son, that makes him refuse to take another wife. We so fail you also. His eyes will be open and we will throw you out because your plan of sending me to my grave without seeing my grandchildren will not succeed. I assure you it will not.
de vinho. She's due already. She has been in labor for the past three hours. Oh, it's okay. Madam, how strong do you feel? Um, I'm getting weak. Very weak, doctor. Oh. Madam, you will, you will have to calm down, okay? You see? No more delivery. It's absolutely impossible right now. So we will have to perform um, a cesarean on you. Get the tether ready. The tether? Then I see if we can get Dr. Soji on the Look, by the time Dr. Soji comes back from wherever he has gone to, this woman will be heading for the mortuary. And I will not let that happen. I will have to perform the CNS myself. No, Dr. Philip, no. You know you're not qualified to do that. It's just turning 10. I mean, you will put in the co professional competence of this hospital into serious questioning if anything goes wrong. There are plenty of things will go wrong if this woman dies. And it's our professional obligation to prevent that. You don't think that I will allow you to put the integrity of this hospital at risk because of your little adventure? I see. If saving a woman's life is an adventure, then get set. Because you won't enjoy this ride because I will have to do what I want to do. Dr. Philip, I won't let you do that, Dr. Philip. No, you can't just do that, Dr. Philip. Are you the husband of the woman? Yes, yeah, doctor, I am. I'll be very brief. Your wife is not doing very well, and your baby's position is very bad, so we will have to perform um, a cesarean operation on her, immediately. Operation? Yes. No. Look, at this point, it's a touch and go situation. One mistake could lose both mother and child. What do we do, doctor? Um, you do nothing until a doctor comes. And you, Dr. Philip, I warned you that I wouldn't take this nonsense. What is going on here? Who is this woman? I am the certified midwife in this hospital. And I stand to say that this boy here cannot, I mean, he is not qualified to operate on your wife. Um, Mr. Edward Johnson. Edward Johnson. Yeah. It's complete. You see, I am an intern. You may call it an apprentice doctor if you, if, you, if you want. But, at this point, I'm the only hope you have to save your wife and unborn child. At this point, they are trading between life and death. And you have just three minutes, three minutes to make that decision. And you will sign the concept paper that will allow me to operate on your wife. And I'll save them both. But if you don't, if you don't, the game is over. There is nothing, nothing I can do about it. Dr. So, Philip, please, don't drag me into any mess. What kind of thing is this? Mr. Johnson, I'm waiting. The fate of my wife and my unborn child blessed in your hands. Good, 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 good. I will sign the consent paper now. Good, good, good. Um, Nurse, yes, take, him, take him to sign the consent paper and get him back. Dr. Philip, I will let you do this. This is madness. Good. Well, it's out of your hands now. Excuse me. Excuse you? Sometimes you feel pain, right? 
sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. This was not on my little after my talk. Sorry, so you feel okay, right? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. I just got your message. Where's oh. my sister? Lucy, thank God you are here. Your sister is in the theater, struggling with life, which I cannot guarantee she is. I'm afraid. No, Uncle Johnson. Don't speak negatively, okay? Hence, she didn't die in labor at home. She will not die again. At least not now. You think so? Yes. I can assure you by the special message of God and we'll soon see that mother and child. We pray in our back. I'm God praying. God is in control. It's okay. Take it easy, okay? Oh my God. Mr. Johnson, congratulations. <laughs> you have a baby girl. Both mother and child are fine, okay? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, doctor. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. Thank you. Please, can I see them now? Uh, no, you won't be able to see her now. She's still under anesthetic for now. So, um, but when it wears off, you'll be able to see her. But her condition is very stable. They've got to wash your baby, so in the next 10 minutes you'll see your baby. Thank, Thank you very much, Jesus. Doctor. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad. Lucy, at last. Thank you very Ooh. much, Doctor. Thank you very much. You both continue to strengthen your elbow. Oh my God, Lucy. Yeah. Oh my God, Lucy. At last. Oh God. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you once more. Oh, oh the heaven. Oh my God. Go back to your office. Congratulations. I can't believe this. Congratulations. And what was the clapping all about? You mean you left your duty post just to clap? It's like you're insane. But you can get out from this place before I descend on you. Fool. son you sound exhausted <laughs> mother you can't believe this i just performed my first cns operation both mother and child they're all fine oh my boy <laughs> congratulations oh dear yes boy. so how do you feel now accomplished exhausted and um, stressed out i know the feeling i know just hurry home let's celebrate okay okay i will see you later then all right, bye, mother. Love you. Father, I have come on my knees in prayer again. Okay? Jehovah, you said there shall be none barren in our midst. Father, you said that we should leave our parents and cling to unto our husbands and multiply. That is your word, Jehovah, and I hold on to it. Mighty in battle, let the cry of a baby be heard in this house. Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah, listen. Let the cry of a baby be heard in this house. Jehovah, hear my plea. Father, Lord, I call down your holy now, call down your power. Elohim and Antonai, you are the A and the may come down and hear my cry. How can God hear your cries? When you have given birth to all your children in this world, Mama. Mama. Mm. I beg you in the name of God. Please. I am making a petition with my God. I don't need your ranting. Favor. You open that gutter you call him out. To say that I'm ranting, eh? 
Ten years in a marriage. I'm married with it without a child. And when I talk to Sam right now, you have nothing right in a door! I will bring a lot to the side. There will be no one in my house. There will be no one in my house, Mama. There will be no one in my house, Mama. There will be no one in my house, what is the meaning of all these shouts that is so ungodly no, around the night? No, there is plenty to shout about. If the two of you are in agreement to send me to my grave without seeing my grandchildren, <laughs> then <laughs> you are both mistaken. And whatever she has given you to agree with her, you must have it. Enough for this, Mama. Enough. <laughs> it is not enough. Oh. My only child, Ufukula Yajisoro, wrapped under a woman's hair. <laughs> hey, not when I'm still alive. <laughs> this war has just begun. <laughs> and I will advise the girls <laughs> to get ready for it. Because I will fight you out of this house. Even if it is last time I do, I assure you that. <laughs> oh God, where are you? Oh God, where are you? God, where are you? Please go and answer me, Father. Oh, Father, Lord, please answer me. I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, God. Don't leave me, baby. Leave me. I want to go to a summit. Where is God? It's okay. Stop this, please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please, understand me. Oh, God. No. 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 So you and daddy have been waiting for me to have dinner together with you guys? Yes. yes. Queen, to celebrate your remarkable feat as a family. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> Both of you are simply unbelievable. I mean, the best a child could ask for. Uh -huh. But I'm sorry. I'm real sorry for keeping you guys today. Just that I needed to finish everything I'm doing in the hospital. We understand. We understand. Let's, let's go. Daddy. The food is getting cold. My God. You know what? My favorite. I can't wait. You don't have to worry, and don't you be afraid. Joy comes in the morning, all oh, trouble that will last always. For there's a friend in Jesus who will wipe your tears away. The word peace has eluded my home for the past 10 years now. Humiliation, shame and pain have been my daily companions. The glimmer of hope I have is the love of my husband. But after 10 years in marriage and still no child to show for it, am I not stretching the limits of this love? How much more can my loving husband take for my sake? How much more? God, please, hear my cries. Please, I can't take it anymore.
seems um since I've seen this face before. I mean, um, a relative. Are you a relative to one of my patients? I mean, Mr. Johnson. Are you a relative to him? Doctor Philip. Oh yes, that's it. <laughs> Afternoon. Where are you going to? I'm going to get my clothes from Etoro down that lane. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, in that case, let me drop you off then. Send for me, sir. Sir, I can explain. There's nothing to explain. Sir. Brave and courageous of you. <laughs> but, sir. These are the kind of critical decisions we expect you to take. Risky, crazy, but courageous. And that's why you are here. I know the MD will be so happy, very happy, to hear this when he comes back from abroad. Thank you very much, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you. Just keep the good job going. Okay, sir. Feel it, feel. Hey, my main man Romanos. How are you doing, man? Wow, when did you come to town? Oh, we just came back two days ago. I've been calling your number, but it's not been connecting. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm sorry, you know. It's just that I've been very, very busy. And perhaps things have been very hectic for me here in the hospital. And you know, I'm the only gynecologist doctor they have. But anyway, how was your trip to Abuja? Oh, boy. See me. You can't believe that those people defund my payment to general next year. Look at me. A young man supplying the whole government ministries, computers and other equipments for a year now. And they keep tossing me around. I mean, how fair can that be? But this is ridiculous. Philip, what's more ridiculous is that they said no money. But they keep spending billions of naira on furniture allowances of some politicians, some jokers who say they're representing us. Oh, man, I... At this country, I'm sick and tired, honestly. Oh, come on, you have to calm down. Just calm down, okay? Um, January is just six months away. You, you will survive it. You won't die. Just come on, share up, share up, share up, okay? Let, let me, I think I should just take you out. Give you some booze. So that your spirit will be high, isn't it? Feel it. Come on. You think yeah. you can do that? Let's do that, let's do that. I can't wait to see uh, this. Nice to see you again, brother. Oh, mm -hmm. It's all the people. Evening, Auntie. Where is that? Where is the kitchen? What is she doing in my kitchen? She's cooking. What? <laughs> Mama, what's the meaning of this? Eh? I'm cooking for my son as you can see. At least, whatever you put in his food will not enter this one. Mama? Mama? You have been giving me hell over sugar issue in this house. And now you have invaded my kitchen. Mama, you are going too far. Oh. You are going too far, Mama. So you are getting angry. You can't even provide me a grandchild. And you have the nerves to get angry. I just took over your kitchen. The next is your bedroom. And I will throw you out of it. And allow a fertile woman to come and do the job for you. You can't do it. I said you can't do it! 
I can't do it. Don't tell me! Mama, Mama, listen, just listen. I've respected you enough in this house. If you dare extend your control anywhere near my bedroom, huh? You will bring out the beast in me. And I can assure you, you won't like what you will see. Eh? In my own son's house, you now threaten me. No, 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 no. I don't issue threats. I make promises. And trust me, I keep my promises. Try any nonsense near my bedroom. I will forget that you are my mother-in-law and treat you as an enemy, which it seems you are. Ha! In my son's house! Tell your threat is me! Hey! The music has gone into a motion! And we must dance it in a world dance! Tell Ridiculous. I mean, absurd. Queen, yeah. don't you expect me to just agree to a guy who just walked into the space? Because he's a kind person. Look, Lucy, this guy is a doctor who saved your sister's life. And so? He was only doing his job. I think you should give him a chance. I can't. Yes. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know how to, you want me to just get used to it. I. I can't do it. Just give him a chance. What? Hello? Yeah, good afternoon, Dr. Philip. Yes. Oh, sorry, actually, I was pretty busy then. Yes. All right. Where exactly? I can't give you a promise. I, I can't promise you on that. I, I can't give you a promise. Yes. Come on. Look, don't you think this is too soon? Come on. I. Okay. I I um love you. Jesus, what have I gotten myself into? I, I just hope I, I I I did the right thing because look, yes, it's okay. Okay. It's okay, right? Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> it had better be okay. It's okay. Was a nervous breakdown. If you don't stop this night prayers of yours, Vincent, let me cry. Let me cry. I'm falling apart. I'm losing my sanity. I don't think I can go on anymore. Try. 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 To calm down? Yes, of course. Is that what you are trying to tell me to calm down? When a volcano is about to erupt right under me. Mama has turned this house into a war zone. And I hate to admit that she's she has a point there. Because if I wear her shoes, I'll do the same. If not worse. Oh, sweetheart. Crying your heart out will not solve anything. This is not just your problem. It's mine too. You know I love you. And nothing can change that. Vincent, love cannot drown the truth. The fact remains that I have not been able to give you a child. And that means plenty to worry about. 
the only solution to this problem is let's just tackle all these issues with unity of heart. That's the only solution. Please hold me. It's okay. Please hold me. It's okay. It's okay. Honorable sir, from the test carried out on both of you, and from what I have from my medical files, says that. There is absolutely nothing wrong with both of you. Both of you are capable of having children. Dr. Phillips, we have had such assurance from countless of doctors. But up to now, there's no child. Well, there are several factors that can affect a woman and prevent her from conceiving, which can be anxiety, stress, pressure. Anything that agitates her will definitely affect her psychologically, which is even a bigger threat. But doctor, things are getting out of hand. Loved ones are getting agitated. I'm no longer finding it funny at all. I've tried everything at my own best. Okay, um, this is where you will have to calm down. Calm down and allow nature to take its absolutely course. Okay? Um, but I will still run uh, more tests on her. But certainly, I can assure you, there is nothing wrong with your wife. It's okay. Not of it. Just uh, do anything at your best. I will try my best. And uh, madam, you still have to come around again for another test again. Okay, doctor. Okay. So you take care for now. All right. And bye. Have a nice day. I'm finish it all. But I'll buy you So when we go in, show me your books, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Mami. Mami. What are you hiding? Nothing. I saw you hiding something. Yeah, you're telling me nothing. Yeah, tell me. What was it? What was it? No, 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 no. Let me see, Mommy. Let me see. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's a picture. It's a picture, Mommy. <laughs> mommy. You know, it all seems to amaze me. What's the big deal about this picture? Tell me. What's the big deal? It takes my mind back to those times we spent together. And when I look at you now, full grown man. It just makes me wonder how time flies. Mommy, you've done a wonderful job for me. Everything that is good in me today comes from you and dad. And I couldn't have asked for more than that. Mommy, I will always remember that. Always. And I love you, mother. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you too. I'll do anything for you. Thank you, mother. How was work today? Yeah, work was fine and um, could have been better. I'd like to hear that. Okay, let me go freshen up and then I'll join you back, okay? It's okay. Okay. I want to serve you your food myself. That's all right, mother. <laughs> That's all right. Okay. Okay, come on, let me have my picture back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Mama went to Jerusalem two, two weeks ago. Yes, so, but she insists on going to this year's pilgrimage again. She says Jerusalem affords her the opportunity for sober reflection and spiritual cleansing. <laughs> Reverend Mrs. Sindiwe. Mm -hmm. oh, sometimes that woman amazed me. Thanks for this drink. Oh. Hmm. So, tell me what's happening in your life? Favor! Favor! Mama! Mama, I'm coming now, eh? This is your ever looking young mother in law. She's always looking very young. Meanwhile, she's very old. Old woman. Is it not her son's money? Is her son's money now? If she lies, he can even be 15 years younger than this, huh? So, Favor. Favor, it has gotten to this, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I guess this is the only thing you can do perfectly. Gossip. And you, since you cannot be able to get a husband of your own, you go about, even at night, preventing other people from taking care of their husbands at your age. You should be ashamed of yourself. Agadiokwenka. Favor. What is the meaning of this? Please, please, for my sake, eh? Daphne, please. Please. You're asking her. Now I believe the saying that pastor's children usually turn out to be the worst. Hmm? When they are this preaching and converting others, the devil is busy ravaging their homes and their children. At least. Two of you are a perfect example. Mamba! Mama, you can insult me or no problem. You can even walk up to me and slap me. No big deal. But if you insult my family, Mama! Mama, if you insult my family! Hey! Hey! Trust me, Mama. You won't like me. In fact, you will feel me. I'm not going to sit and listen to this garbage, Daphne. Sis, if this is what you have to put up with, I don't tell you. Yeah. I'm okay. going. Okay, please let me see you. What are you going to go? That is for my you sake. Know, you will come back and rest. So, Honorable and uh, Mrs. Favor, at least the result shows that both of you are medically fit to bear children. But Honorable, if the pleasure at home is too much, take your wife on a holiday. Take her to Europe, America, or Caribbean. 
you in the right mood. How can I show you? Children will come. Okay? It's all right, Dr. Phillips. You are good. You're welcome. Mother! <laughs> I brought your food. I know it's all work, 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 and no food. <laughs> You're full of surprises, isn't it? <laughs> Honorable, this is my mother, Mrs. Henrietta is the Dilamba. And this is... I see hot. Can you tell me what's going on here? Why do you see the woman I took off as she has seen a ghost? I don't have time to talk about this now. Can you take me home, please? Mother! You just acted as if you've seen a ghost. It's okay. I'm fine. No food. Are you sure, Mom? in her heart. Something is definitely wrong. There is nothing wrong. Why did you see that woman and run away as if you have seen a ghost from the past? Favor. Do I look like a baby to you? Evelyn, I've already told you there is nothing wrong. I thought she's someone I, I, I knew before, but I was wrong. I don't know why you're putting me through all this question and answer session. I saw you staring at the ceiling for a long time. And now you're picking up your food. Please talk to me. What is it in you? What is it? I saw fever. What? Where? When? Tell me all this way. I did not want to aggravate anything. You, you know, you know I'm not feeling very well. So, deciding to keep it to yourself and bear it alone is the perfect solution. I don't know. I didn't see 
anything either. And Favor and I did not help the matter any better. Uh -oh. If nothing, we arouse suspicion with our action. Just asking questions I have no answers to. Oh God, Cliff. I'm scared. No, no, relax. No need for that. God will take care of this situation himself. I don't want to lose you. Mother, I saw Madame Hereta and the boy. My son. He's now a doctor. And I even heard him call her mommy. Oh my God. My God. After so many years. Are you sure what you're saying? I'm sure, Mother. He's the doctor we went to see in the hospital about my problem. He even introduced her, Madame Hereta, to us. My husband and I. Even if he's the real boy. Here is problem. I don't care what that problem is. I want my son back. Honey, what I'm saying is that even if you didn't see them, there's still a problem. You know, we had an agreement, a covenant. You had the agreement that you want me. Don't even mix me into it. I was young and wasn't even consulted. So, whatever agreement or covenant you, you entered into is not binding on me. I want my son back. It is not as easy as it sounds. It is, it is, it is more complicated. Then uncomplicated, father. Uncomplicated. That boy is the only one that can restore my pride again. He's the only one that can make me a woman. He's the only one that can stop the laughing and cheering around me. I understand how you feel. Nobody understands how I feel. I can't have a son out there and still suffer. He's my son and I want him back. Daddy, she has a point there. She can't suffer because of her decisions. So please, Danny, we have to help her. We have to help her out. Two of you are not going to send me to an early place. I won't allow that to happen. He's my son, and I must have him. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, how are you? Fine, sir. Is uh, Clifford and his wife in? Yes, sir. Okay, we want to see them. Come in, sir. Thank you. 
Bishop, oh, brother, careful. This is indeed a pleasant surprise. No blessing, brother. For a little of time. Yes. You're very welcome. Very welcome, sir. Very good, You're welcome. Please, man. Sit down. Ah. Welcome. Yeah. This is wonderful. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> they say. When the prophets of God visit a man, they should be given a reception due for a prophet. Nkiru! Nkiru ka! Brother Clifford, please uh, leave entertainment for now. We are here for a more pressing issue. Okay, you can go. Thank you. I hope all is well. All will be well in Jesus' name. Amen. The only thing that matters is uh, the understanding, the selflessness, and uh, the willingness to be reasonable. Let me go straight to the point. Years back, you and your beautiful wife rendered an unforgettable service to me, to my family, and to my ministry. We have come to thank you for the assistance you rendered to our boy. And that hard as it sounds, we've also come to tell you that the real mother of that boy, my daughter, is desirous of having her son back. But before that happened... That can never happen! It can never happen! Philip is my son and you can never take it's him away from me! It's okay. You cannot! It's never! Okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm good. Bishop, I am still trying to remember. What you are saying goes contrary to what we agreed upon. I know. I know, Brother for But you see, recent events have compelled us to do this. I know that you are not going to let go of him easily. On the strength of that, as a token of my appreciation for all you've done for him, I have. Uh, prepared a check of 20 million naira. But I know it is not enough to compensate for all the love, for all the care that you have invested in him over the years. But like I said, it is a token and uh, more shall come. You can never, never buy my son away from me. Not even if you have all the money in the central bank. You cannot. Now leave my house. Leave my house! It's okay. It's okay. Be sure. When you entered my home, it didn't look like we are hungry. Imagine. When we did what we did, we did it for two reasons. Yes. One, to save the life of an unborn child. Unborn child. Huh? And two, to solve the problem of our childlessness. Oh. Financial reward was never in our minds. So please don't insult us by offering us money. I still respect you as a man of God. And I will implore you to please respect the covenant you entered into. And that is that you and your family have relinquished all rights to that boy, to us forever. Forever! Forever! But her daughter was not part of the agreement, nor is the agreement attached to it binding to her. That agreement was between you both and us. Her daughter is never part of it. You are a pathological liar. Liar of all ages. Risa! It's alright. 
Honey, you want me to sit down and watch her sit there and lie? A Reverend Mrs. A woman of God. Reverend Mrs. Jesus. Rita. Oh. Out of my house. Tell her to leave my house. Oh. Leave my house now. Please. Oh. I'm afraid you have to go now. <laughs> you people are asking for too much. Hey. And you can see the effect. Leave my house. Leave. 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 Just leave. Leave now. Brother we are going. But before we leave, I will drop this check on the table. If you change your mind, please call me. We can never change our mind. Take your useless bloody money out of my house and get out. Honey, find out to leave before I do something funny. Leave my house. Leave! I said leave my house! We don't need your money! Bishop! Reverend Mrs. Can you imagine?
your BP widget is rising to the top. What are you thinking about? Come on, mother. You know I don't want anything to happen to you. Okay? You mean you don't want anything to happen to me? Of course. Why are you asking me all these questions? Philip, you're my son. Nothing can change that. Yes, of course. And you really mean you don't want anything to happen to me? Yes, I promise. You promise? And you know I do. Patrick Hospital. I mean, he's my son. I gave birth to him when I was just 15 years and in secondary school then. you all true. Not knowing you have a son somewhere. Oh God. Vin, please. I'm sorry, okay? I am truly sorry, but I said I was going to tell you. Favor. I'm sorry, Vin. I don't believe you. I don't believe this is you talking. Vin! Please, I'm sorry. I said I was going to explain everything to you, please. Zin, please can you come back? I'm truly sorry, Zin! Zin! Zin, the others have spoken and they have come. Now it's between you and I. Whatever Favor did, she did it to protect her marriage. I'm a woman. I know what she's going through. I know, sister. Sister, I know. Haven't I done enough for her to trust me with such a secret? Haven't I stood by her? How can she have the heart to conceal anything from me? I want you to know that a woman's marriage is like her temple. She protects it with love, devotion, and sometimes what people might consider a lie. But it's not right. Please try and forgive your wife. Take a look at her. 
She's a total wreck. Give her back her life, please. to do next my parents have approached his guidance for an amicable settlement but they refused they are holding on to him so tight but I am ready to fight with my last blood if need be what do we do now I am being forced to do the most difficult thing most difficult thing? Mm -hmm. 